I got my Mary Kay. I'm so excited. If you want to see how to get this natural everyday woman look, go ahead and keep on watching. We're going to be doing a review and a try on of Mary Kay products. The first thing I'm going to take is the Mary Kay primer. It has SPF 15 in it. So you just need a little bit on your finger. Go ahead and warm that up on your fingers. And then you're going to just, you know, kind of put it over your pores right here, your problem areas. Uh, it is a crime not to prime. It just creates a barrier between your face and the makeup. Mary Kay has a CC cream. I'm going to be using this today. I have never tried a CC cream before because they're more light coverage and natural and I wanted to check one out. But there's also foundations on the site. So I am going to put some pumps on my beauty blender and we are going to test this out. Now this is going to be very light coverage, but it looks freaking amazing. It looks like you're natural. Like it looks like you don't have any makeup on, but you do, but in the best way. Like you're just like, oh, I just woke up like this and I look good. That's what it looks like in my opinion. And I like this CC cream. I can say, it does really, really well for the dry skin because it is very moisturizing. And I would suggest the CC cream if you have dry skin. And if you're looking for something that's just every day, real quick, get up and go, this is freaking perfect for that. If you are a mom, always on the run, and you're not having time to, you know, to do like a full face of makeup, like extravagant, this is, you need this. This looks so good. I'm going to take another little pump just to build it up just a little bit more. And it's not even looking cakey at all. So, like I said, it's not looking cakey because it's very moisturizing. The CC cream is very, very moisturizing. So you could even add another layer and you won't look cake face. I actually should have took this off because I have to do my neck. Don't forget your ear. This is amazing. Okay. Oh, jeez. Okay, so look, this is very, very natural, but it's like, oh my gosh, like my skin looks like I'm not wearing anything, but it looks better, like so pretty. Okay. Next, they have an under eye corrector, the Mary Kay concealer. So we are going to put that on the problem areas just to make, uh, make it a little bit more full coverage. So I just have some darkness. It's really bad lately because I'm not sleeping. So, well, I am sleeping, just not a lot, not enough. Silas just started school, my oldest. He started early intervention. So <coughs> I've been getting up super early every day to take him to school. So we're gonna just blend that out. And that's definitely helping with the circles under the eye. And that's also, this is also a very creamy concealer. So if you have dry skin, this is gonna rock your world. Okay. Now Mary Kay also has a setting powder. I'm really excited to test this out to set the under eyes. It looks like this. Let me open it up. It looks like that and it is very very finely milled I can tell it also looks like it has a slight shimmer in it which is also good for dry skin because the shimmer brings back more life to your skin but it's very very slight like you can't even tell 
so you're not gonna look greasy or anything like that. So you always wanna set the loose, get the loose setting powder and put it under your eye to set your concealer to help prevent creasing. And it also helps your uh, concealer to be like not sliding around all over your face. Wow, this powder is very finely milled and that's a very, very nice powder. I like that. It looks like legit, it just looks like skin. Like this is like, I've never tried Mary Kay before and this is like, I'm impressed. I love to put powder in the cracks of the nose so it doesn't look like you've missed your foundation there. And you can also put powder on your laugh lines because it helps them um, prevent creasing right away. This powder is good. I'll put a little bit up here. Like, look at that. It looks like skin. It looks exactly like skin. Like this is like gonna be my go-to. I'm not even kidding. Now let's do the sheer mineral pressed powder to set the rest of the face. It looks like this. And right off the bat, it's very smooth and buttery. Now this is just for the face, so I don't know if you can see it. So we're gonna take a fluffy face, face face brush and we're going to just go in like that and set the rest of the face by lightly pressing it into the skin. You don't want to swipe it because it'll disrupt the foundation underneath. So you just tap it into your skin. Don't do this on the face because it'll like smear everything. You could do it on the neck though. Always bring everything down your neck so you're not looking a damn mess with a line right here. Bring everything down your neck, like even way down here. Don't forget your ears. You wanna look fully blended. Look at this. That looks like skin. It doesn't look cakey. I am in shock. I, I really like this. Especially so far, this has not taken me long at all. This is like legit get up, get ready and go. And you still look, you look good. Okay, so that was the powder. I am going to do this Chroma Fusion blush. And this color is hot coral. This is really pretty. Now it's a very, very bright and out there. But let me go ahead and swatch it. It's shimmery, a shimmer, shimmer blush. That is gorgeous. That is so pretty. A lot of people don't like bright colors, but let me show you. Don't be scared. Let's try this out. So you're going to just lightly dust that on the cheek. And don't forget to bring it back, bring it back up like that. So you're just not with circles on your cheeks. It's, it's a bright, bright blush, but this looks so pretty. Like, don't be scared. Like that, that looks stunning. This is going to be a very, um, it's not gonna be a dramatic look. This is a very everyday look. So that was the blush. Now the next two eyeshadows I got, they look like this. And this first one is called Dusty Rose. Very natural colors. Now right off the bat, it is very creamy. So that's just a natural color. I'm going to take a big fluffy brush and look, there's no like fallout very bad. Like some, some eyeshadows, you touch them and it's like poof everywhere. Like this is like amazing. 
Okay, so now we're going to lightly put it on the edge and in the crease of the eye. Look at how pretty. If you hear anything, that is my son. He is four months old, so. This is the everyday woman look. Okay, now we're gonna do the other side. Just do the crease and heavier on the outer corner. I'm going to take another blending brush and we are going to put that more, since a darker color, more on the outer V. And slightly bring it in the crease. Now we're gonna take those same two colors on a small little brush and we are going to run it under the lower lash line, starting with the darkest purple first. Now we're going to put the dusty rose Next, I'm going to go back in with the blush, get it on my finger, and I'm gonna put it just on this little inner part of the eye. Just because I couldn't get every single color they had, so I'm using this just to tie it in a little bit and to make it look like creamsicle-ish. All right, next we are going to blend that out a little bit more. are going to do the mascara. They do have a mascara, it's called Lash Intensity. Now let's try this mascara out today. So well, this is what it looks like before. Wow. Wow. This is really amazing. Look at the difference. That's just one layer. Now I'll fix that mark in a second. But this is just one layer. This is really, really nice. I like it a lot. So if you make a mistake like that, you let it dry. And then once it's dry, you get a eyebrow spoolie and you flick it off. There is also an eyebrow pencil. Let's see if it's dry. I think it's about dry. So. You just dust it off. Let's check out the eyebrow pencil. It's a retractable and it's to fill in your eyebrows. I'm not gonna do them too perfect today because I'm actually going to go get them redone. So this is a nice pencil. It is very easy to use. going to do them perfect this is just for the sake of the video of me testing out the brow because I have to wipe it off anyway so it's very smooth it goes on easily and I think it's a good eyebrow pencil last but not least this is the nourish shine plus lip gloss let's try this a gloss so it looks like this that's very pretty So pretty. Right off the bat, this feels so nourishing. 
it's not sticky it's not tacky it doesn't stick i really like that lip gloss it kind of feels like vitamins on my lips i really 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 like it so go ahead and spray your face with setting spray to help it stay all day so you can slay like tay if you like this video give it a thumbs up we're gonna go ahead and look at the Mary Kay website of a person that you can buy these products from if you want to try them out. She also has a Facebook page. Her name is Kristen Osorio. So if you're interested in buying these, I would go check her out. It's not an affiliate link or anything like that. It's just where you get the Mary Kay stuff. So um, let's go ahead and take a look at her page real quick. Okay, so here is Kristen's Beauty Corner. This is her Facebook page um, her, of her Mary Kay uh, profile. You can go ahead and check that out, Kristen's Beauty Corner. She also has a website link to order from the Mary Kay website. This is what it looks like. So you can go ahead and scroll through, look at bestsellers, things like that. Just make sure the bottom says Kristen Osorio looks like this with her cute little picture and they have all the products on the website as i just mentioned in this video and they have other great products as well for decent decent prices you get great quality of product here are the uh, mascaras and eyeliners like 12 dollars 15 dollars that's really good some more of the website, face, lips, cheeks. You can do, you know, body lotions, body scrubs, whatever else rocks your boat, go ahead and check out. You can also message her here and make sure you subscribe to Taze Tube and uh, go ahead and let her know I sent you. Thank you guys for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please comment down below what you would like to see next. Leave a like and share my video. I hope you guys have a great day and there'll be more videos to come. Love you guys.